Hello, this is going to be a video that's going to be slightly different than the ones I normally put out. I was inspired to make this video based on some of the videos that I'd watched a little while back on Technology Connections second channel, Technology Connextras. And he made a couple of videos on that channel called Sights and Sounds, where he had some B-roll footage that he had taken, and he decided to turn it into something a little bit more of a descriptive video kind of video. So what he did was he took the footage that he had shot for some of his other videos that he made and he basically did a voiceover describing what the machines were doing. So I thought I would do a video along that style and focus mainly on an internal hard drive that is on its last moments before it completely dies and also just to give a bit of a status update on my computer. So this morning I went and I got myself a screwdriver kit that would let me take apart the Mac Mini. Disassembled it. I got the hard drive, went and got a replacement, reassembled the Mac Mini with the replacement hard drive, successfully reinstalled Mac OS on it, and I also decided to take the cover off of the old one, and I'm going to show a few pictures here. So being in the theme of a descriptive video, I'm going to describe some of the pictures that you see here. What you're seeing is an internal hard drive with the cover removed. On the right side of the hard drive, you see the platter where the data is being stored. And on the left side, you see the mechanism that moves the read arm as well as the read arm itself. And the read arm is currently in the parked position. So the, the arm is not even even touching the platter at this point. The main thing that you can see on the platter, however, is that there are two different concentric rings where the reed head physically touched the platter, crashed against it, and removed the recording medium off of the disc that keeps it rigid. And so now I'm going to play some of the recordings that I made that led up to the damage that is shown in the image that I have on the video right now. I'm going to play the clips out of sequence from the order that I recorded them. The first clip that I recorded will be played as the second clip and the second clip that I recorded I'm going to play now and it captures the boot sequence of the Mac Mini. I had to rest the phone on the top of the Mac Mini and then I had to press record so you're going to hear a bit of a scraping sound as I press the record button or it might be done just after I had pushed it so basically I was positioning the phone on on the, the top of the Mac Mini trying to get a good conductive audio recording. Then you'll barely be able to hear me press the power button. A short pause later you'll hear a chime. That's the Mac saying I'm starting up. Then there's going to be a short pause before the hard drive is being asked to read content off of the hard drive. But when it is asked to read the content off of the hard drive, it's going to have some problems and then you'll hear some ticking sounds. And those sounds, I'm pretty sure, are caused by the read head moving back and forth looking to see if it can find the track that it's trying to read. And from the damage that I'm showing in the picture on this video, it was still trying, but it was having some serious problems. I suspect in this recording that the hard drive was already getting quite damaged and that there wasn't much left before it realized that it couldn't continue. And very shortly after it tried to read the first track off of the hard drive, then it said, I give up and it stopped making sounds. And so that's when I stopped the recording.
this second audio clip was the first one that I recorded and the hard drive definitely was trying a lot harder at that point to read the content off of the drive and you'll hear a few extra sounds that I didn't play before so you'll still hear the various ticking sounds but you'll also hear a couple of new sounds as well one of them is kind of like a thumping sound and that sound I'm pretty sure is the sound of the reed head being forcibly slammed against the park position stop. You'll also be able to hear kind of like it's hard to describe. I'll play the clip here. It's kind of like the, that chirping little sound. And I suspect, and I'm not really sure, but I suspect that that hard drive was realizing that it was having a really hard time. And it may have tried to slow down the platters. And that might have been, I don't know how, how to explain this, a kind of like the magnetic slip of the spindle motor, possibly as the angular momentum of the platter was fighting the magnetic braking action of the circuitry trying to apply to the motor to cause it to slow down. I'm not really sure how to explain that, but that might be that. Or that little chirping sound might be a really odd action of the electronics trying to move the reed head into a different position somehow. So I'm not really sure what that sound was. In this clip, there are th those three basic sounds that I can detect from the hard drive. You've got the standard clicking sound. To me is the reed head moving back and forth in different positions, trying to seek the correct position where that track that it's interested in might be. The second one is that thumping sound, which is the sound of the reed head being slammed against the backstop of the park position. And then the third one is that little chirping sound that either might be related to the platter or it might also be related to the reed head. That's what I have. I would normally say thank you for watching this video, but this one is going to be more of an audio than it is going to be a video. So I would say thank you for listening to this video. And with that, I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.